Hello and welcome to this week's NPL and all thanks to the One Solution Group for their support. Chris Dittmar and Albie Kidd here at Triple M. Morning, and Albie, a very special guest with us this week, Mark Brazali. Brazza, welcome. Morning, guys. How are you going? How are you, mate? All good. You've all got good. your Croydon top on. This yep. is a great, great story, a historical story. We go back to 1950 with Polonia yep. uh, and you've got a real special day coming up this weekend. Yeah, we have. Uh, obviously, as you said, it's a historical day for us that, uh, you know, that could be our last game uh, playing down at Croydon. Yep. Uh, you know, the club's been around for 50, 60 years. Yep. Probably, uh, you know, one of the icons of football in this in this state. So, you know, it's a sad day for us, mm. but it's, uh, it's going to hopefully be an enjoyable day, which, you know, we're hoping to get a, a big crowd coming down, which, uh, you know, hopefully ex-players and, and players that have played at the club uh, would be great to come down and see Saturday. Albie, there's no doubt, when we talk football in this town, we, we the, you mentioned Juventus and Hellas, but Polonia sits right up there with them as the great clubs, you know, don't they, really? Well, 50, 60 years that they've been playing at that ground, and it was, it was a great ground. All the, all the best players have played at that ground as well, Brazza, as you're yep. well aware. Who, who are some of the great Croydon players you've played against over the years? Well, Jan Kernel was a, was an absolute gun when he, when he come uh, when he played for Polonia. Uh, Noe Domsky, I remember a, another import coming, we played against him, Brazza. Yep, yep. Noe Domsky was a tremendous player. But the local guys here, Davy Dawn is a, a, a name that comes up. Yep. Uh, good and, player. And, and, and the main one is uh, Australian born is Johnny Cosmina. Yeah. Cosy? I think Cosy's, you know, a well known <laughs> player. And his family and had a bit to do there as well, didn't they? He did. His father actually uh, helped build the club wow. and uh, his family built the club. And, and Johnny's coming down from Queensland actually right. uh, Saturday morning right. to, to be there on the day. And But, yeah. but, but that's just a quick, a quick second on uh, Joel Porter. Shane yes. Porter, yep. you know, they're local lads, they're good players, had good careers, especially Joel yep. going overseas and whatnot. But that, they produced, Polonia pr produced players like that, yeah. of that calibre. Oh, definitely, definitely. You know, and you could go on and on and on. There's that many players, so yeah. It's great, All right, Brazza, tell us about the parade that you're going to have before the game. Yeah, so what we've organised is uh, obviously uh, I think we've invited uh, as many players as we could uh, come along and yep. I think hopefully we're expecting 150 to 200 players right. coming along and right. you know there'll be a parade from about quarter to 2 to 2.30 uh, so that the players can warm up for the main game but uh, we'll be doing a parade on the ground and yep. there'll be a nice big emblem of our club on the ground and right. you know we've got a sponsors Fantastic. day, we've got everything going. Yep. After the game we've got a band playing so it's yep. not just going to be for the game, it's mm. going to be an all-nighter, so, so, so there might be some uh, sore, head, sore you'll heads. You'll participate in that, will oh, you, Brazza? Yeah, I'll give it a good shot. <laughs> Brazza, your family has been involved yep. in recent years too, and well done to you yep. and your brother. I know yep. you've got sons and nephews yep, playing sure, down there. Yeah. Yep. I want to ask you about a couple of young kids you produced in recent times. Yep. There's a boy that played in defence against Comets last weekend yep. that I know that the Comets boys were raving about. Tell us yep. about him. Yeah, there's a young fella, uh, Kieran Stokes, uh, famous father of, uh, obviously, Phil Stokes, yeah, the, trainer, uh, the, the, the horse trainer. trainer. Um, yeah, great kid. Uh, he's only 15, 16. Uh, he's just been uh, uh, picked in the under 17, I'm pretty sure, under 17 Australian squad. Yeah, great. And there's some interest from a couple of A-League clubs wanting to have a look at him for a trial. So, All right. you know, he came aboard with us last year uh, when I was coaching there and brought him up last year and he played probably 10, 11 games last year. And mm. this year he's just played every game and been outstanding. So Braz are taking all the credit. He for, is. Um, well, you know what I mean. Sometimes you have to do yeah. these things. No, what about, I, I what about the young boy, it, the young boy in defence going back a year or two who I think has gone to Denmark? Tell us about him. Yeah, that's another one of my products. <laughs> and, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, yeah, look, he's doing very well. He was uh, he, he's signing for Michelin in a club called Mich uh, FC Michelin in Denmark. Uh, he's at the moment here with a, a slight injury, which he'll be going back in the next two weeks to do his rehab yep. and hopefully getting him back on track. Uh, and what was, what's his name? Uh, Hussein Belletti. Yep. So, and uh, this kid's going to be an outstanding player. I, I think he is. This when you go back to the players again, Rocky Visconti yeah. was coming to that. Uh, yeah. Yep. The brackets here. And, and Cosi, obviously. Yeah. They went on to, for great careers, but Rocky going to Scotland, yep. played at professional level there, and Cosy, well, Cosy's Cosy's an icon of the game. Yep. Mm, right. All right, let's get to the game, shall we? Last weekend, let's get through them quickly. Uh, I mentioned Comets and Croydon. It was a nil-nil draw, which in the end was probably a fair result, wasn't it? Oh, definitely. I, th I thought it was actually a great game. Uh, mm. You know, there wasn't a lot of chances from both sides, but the no. football was good. It was intense, and uh, you know, it was two teams that you could see that are in the top four and and in good form at the yep. moment. Yep. Yep. Definitely. All right. What other games uh, took your fancy? Well, you look at you look at the league. I think we should talk about the league. The league's mm. very very tight now. The, the top six. 
they're not even sorted themselves out yet. There's still a lot of football to be played. There could be a couple of teams uh, slipping into the, the the sixth position, if you like. And you're one of them, yeah, Brazza. Yeah, you could so. finish. Looking at your uh, fixtures, yeah. uh, Croydon uh, could finish second. Could finish second and could finish out of the six. Mm. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. It's amazing. That's all it is. Yes, that's yeah. right. But South Adelaide did. Uh, unfortunately, gone. Yep, yep. Uh, they lost their game against Adley City. Massive game for Adley City, that was. 1 0 the beat, uh, the beat uh, South Adley at the weekend. So South Adley down, Adley City now three points ahead of West Adley, our team, Braz. Yep, yep. Uh, looks and like a big West, goal difference, too. Yeah, there is, unfortunately. But looks like West Adley are, are really staring down the barrel now. They've got to do something very, very special and they've got to rely on other teams as well. All right, let's have a look at the player votes from last weekend. Rocky Viscotti getting the maximum votes from both coaches, and we saw earlier he scored a cracker of a goal on the weekend. Uh, just a class player, isn't he, in this competition? He is. He's still the business of Visconti. A lot of people, we've mentioned it before, he's still only 28, this lad. Still a bit, lots and lots of football in him. But uh, the, he did score a magic goal at the weekend. Yeah. yeah, and I see where Ryan Yates for Adelaide United, he scored the maximum six as well. Um, and just like you, Braz, I can take a fair bit of credit for young Yates. I taught him everything he knows when he was at uh, West Charles McKellar. <laughs> did he play and, squash? Uh, he? he did play squash, <laughs> that's right, yeah. So, uh, but uh, he's a very, very good young player in the midfield, so well done to him. And let's get to the leaderboard, and with only a couple of rounds to go, they will not catch Hamish McCabe. I see you got one more vote. How much he won, Dex? Has he scored a few points, that McCabe? Yeah, he has, every single week, actually. Yeah, I think he does the votes. No, I'm only kidding. He's, he's I am about, kidding, he's... I'm kidding. No, he's a great player. Yeah. He and his brother have done very, very well, but... Uh, they won't catch him now. And thanks once again to James Threadgold Jewelers for that wonderful tag Hoyer watch that we'll give to Hamish uh, in a couple of weeks' time by the look of it. Let's get to the games this weekend. So just the one dead rubber this weekend. Unfortunately, South Adelaide, Parry Hills Knights. But Brazza, every other game is absolutely vital. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's, uh, and as I said, uh, speaking about what I saw last week, Comets and, and Croydon, uh, I think every squad is in the same uh, scenario where yep. the stand is good. They're all playing for top finals yep. uh, berth, and, uh, it, which makes it exciting for the league. You, know, yeah. you haven't got uh, one horse race this year. Exactly, yeah. And, it's, and I think it's great for the league and great for spectators to see. Yep, yep. and uh, Albie, all eyes again this week, next week, will be on West Adelaide and Adelaide City to see their results. Most definitely, that's you know West Adelaide to go down is just an absolute disaster. Uh, Adelaide City caught up in that relegation battle as well. Yes. Just, it's unbelievable. But you just mentioned uh, Braza, all the teams. That, that it's a very level playing field uh, this year. It's very very competitive. I think it's going to go right to the wire to see who's uh, going to be participating in the top six. And just noting on that, guys, uh, if you have a look at the time factor, uh, Adelaide City actually. Um, uh, Adelaide, West Adelaide and Olympic are playing at seven o'clock. Oh, okay. And Adelaide City is playing at five o'clock. Mm. So <laughs> there could be a, fi a time factor that yeah. uh, one team will know whether yeah. what's going to happen during that game. Yeah, for sure. You know? Big weekend coming up in the MPL. Have a great time at the football. Brazzer, what time does the action start? Out at Polonia uh, at Croydon Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Everything will be starting. Uh, or actually, a bit earlier. Sorry, one thirty. So we'll have a parade starting at quarter to two yep. to two thirty. Uh, main game obviously at three. Um, sponsors will be all there from one thirty onwards. So Brilliant. hopefully right. the weather's kind yeah. to us and uh, we'll have a great day. Good luck with it. This is a part of South Australian football history. If you can get along to Croydon tomorrow and have a great weekend at the football.